Y'all caught me. Charlie. I'm mixing paint. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ugly Dog Lures. How y'all tonight? I don't know who all on there. I can't see the TV, the screen, or whatever that thing's called she's got over there. No, I'm not drinking yet. Yes. But I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Charlie Hi, Charlie. Hi, Ron. Hi, Jen. Destiny. Cheyenne. Hi, Destiny. Hi, Cheyenne. Hi, 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 Hi Mark. Backwoods Hillbilly. Charlie Carter. Old Backwoods. Hey, old Mr. Charlie. How's everybody tonight? Hope everybody's had a good week. It's been a little hectic for me, but that's okay. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. <clears throat> so we got some decisions to make, Ron. This is your bait, Ron. And I will be shipping this bait to you when it's all said and done. Why does he get it? You get it a lot, honey. Didn't sound right. <laughs> so we got some decisions to make Elvis here. Is present. Go team Elvis. Go team Elvis. I am voting for Backwoods Hillbilly just because you know you guys are backing Elvis. So. Okay. Okay. Each me. Okay. Okay, Ron. <laughs> I need you to answer and tell me. Stencil or sponge for the blue on this bait? It's your bait. We've never sponged anything on this channel yet. So you make the call, buddy. And then it'll be wrapped and then it'll have paintbrush put on it. So it's going to have several different things. <laughs> oh, James. Stencil. Don't ask why. Stencil. He said stencil. Okay. Stencil. Stencil it is, Mr. Ron. Well, we might as well kick this party off, hadn't we? Yeah, I'm in trouble already. Why? James asked me why I missed out. Brandon said good afternoon. Hi, Brandon. How are you, buddy? Hope all is well. Hi, Amy. Oh, Lord of mercy. All I'm going to tell y'all is it's been a day. So we're going to lay this old stencil up here and see how this works. And Ron, I do expect you to fish it. Darcy's on. No, Darcy. So we're going to start with our uh, Createx Transparent Caribbean Blue. I love that. Mel, step in front of that camera and give us a buck cheer. A buck cheer? What's yes. a buck cheer? Stand up and buck, cheer for I Uncle guess. Buck. Backwoods. Breaking and yanking. <laughs> All right. You just kicked me off, Team Elvis. Because I'm not one of the cool kids. Okay. You got an effort coming across now. Like I said at the beginning.
Well, that works out pretty nice. That looks gorgeous. I, I don't know if y'all can see like that. Can see that, baby? What's that? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, love it. Now it's going to get the wrap on it here in a little bit. What kind of camera yes, Ron, I'll wrap it for you, buddy. Huh? What kind of camera are you using for the live? Cracking uh, and this is a Canon M50 EOS. Does it look better? You can't ever get them justice on that camera up there compared to what you see in real life when you're looking at your, your lures. Sounds so, expensive, said freaking It was. No, this one was only... Cost me seven years salary. Oh, my gosh. No, it, I bought it on eBay for like $250. Come on, mine sounded more better. <laughs> okay, we're going to jump over here and work on this other side. Ron, I sure hope you like this. When it's all said and done. Wow, that's a deal. I'm just praying everybody's mail gets there in the next few days because it's all in the mail somewhere. Oh, I know all of it's in Ron. It'll certainly be different. Now that is just freaking wicked. Oh, I love it. Did you show them where that stencil came from? Yeah, I told them well, the I know, other night. You told them the other night, but there's new people here. Okay. So this was a stencil. We was uh, up in Lubbock having a good time. We have a good time in Lubbock? Yes, I do. we did. <laughs> and we went to the Halloween store. For those of you that didn't mm -hmm. see Monday. And we run across this pumpkin. It's a placemat for a table. And I thought, man, that would make some cool stencils. So we just dragged it up. And Jason actually paid for it. And uh, Just a dollar. So. Yeah, we were just it trying it out and seeing wasted. what we could do with it. But it's got all kinds of different things on it. I got them two big live baits I got to do sometimes. Yeah. So, you know, we were just checking it out and looking around. And well, I did a good job. I like what they did. Yeah, I'm always, and it, even Melissa's getting worse than me about it. Always looking for something to, <laughs> to for stencils. Uh, at some point. Oh, that's what it is. Because you're too close to the microphone. I can hear it now. Woo. Uh, at some point, Melissa will at some point, we're going to sell stencils. We got crickets and we're going to start cutting them, but I don't know when all that's going to come about yet. So we're going to visit a little bit and let this get set up a little bit. Y'all visit with them. I'm on a mission back here. Yeah, Jay, why don't you go up there? Okay. There's a one with a smaller end of that stencil that I painted last night. Out here. You're going to have to get away from the microphone. You're dragging it with you or something. 
You know, it's holding me. There ain't no chair over here. You should have brought me a chair. Oh, man, it's almost done, guys. What do we do? Got me now. I still got a crackle. Not yet, Jake. I'm just waiting. Not here. Real good. Down to the bottom. Technical difficulties. How's it sounding? It could be your headphones crackling. It's the sound. It's the sound Okay, we're gonna try that again. Can you guys hear me now? I don't know. Um, I'll clean my brush while she's messing with the mic. Now we got five bars, and now the damn microphones are going to Okay, guys, did that fix it? About my look. No, it sounds really good. Okay. Actually. So we're back now, I guess. Sorry about that. It's Jason's fault. <laughs> it probably is. So this is, I painted this one last night. Me and Melissa was out here. I only painted up, I don't know, a dozen or so. And I actually use this tiny end of this pump rubber pumpkin or whatever that thing is up there. And that's the pattern that it came out with that one. I was just playing around. Open now. Need a flashlight to see better, Melissa? No. I'll be able to see that either. That's dark. I said it was over there. I could shine my light on it. But it come out really nice anyway. Yep. It just came out nice. So we're going to let Jason open his present from his good buddy, Ron. Thank you, Ron. You some kind of gangster with that now? No. It's a Kershaw Speed Safe. It's part of my EDC. Every day carrying 45 sitting over here. I bet it's faster than that knife. Probably. Since she told me Ron's are so hard to open, I thought I'd bring a knife. You almost need a chainsaw. The way he wrapped them up, yeah. He thinks it's funny too. And Ron, it's going straight <laughs> in my tackle box. Oh hell yeah! Con predators Sorry. here. And please keep it real. Hi, hey, everybody. David. I need to hear so she can show. No. <laughs> yeah, please don't stick it in my finger. The old pond. Hello, David. Oh, boy. We're going to fight with this thing again. It likes juice better than it likes the lures. I just don't know what is. Thank you, man. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Yeah, they're gorgeous. 
Great job, yeah. Ron. Thank you, Ron. Let's see if we can get this one. Put it right over Deuce's ugly mag there. See, so you can reuse this thing over and over. I know. Over and over and over. You can keep cleaning it until it wears out. Yes, see, we got a little more. Thank you, Ron. They were pretty. Good they job, are. Ron. And they will be fished when I go get to go to the lake with goose sometime. Goose don't go to lakes. Ever. Lake comes to goose. <sighs> okay. Alright, Jay, why don't you turn back around here and duck this time and see it? <laughs> Make an old fat man duck. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Need the exercise anyway. So once again, thank you, Ron. Jason, thank you. Melissa, thank you. I thank you. So let's continue on this journey with this bronze red-breasted perch. Let's get a wrap on it. Wrap him up really tight here. How did I get to be queen of the Monopoly board, Jeff? I really want to know this. That's just funny. Did you sell houses? <laughs> oh. You know I love you guys, but you're just mean to me. Now you know how I feel all the time, don't you? You married me, though. You signed on. <laughs> We'll be letting this thing dry up. The white glows in the dark, bud. Cool. Well, Jason will love those. He'll get some use out of them, too, Ron. Thank you, Lindia. Lindia thinks I'm sweet. Oh, I think you're sweet. Most days. Most days. Wow. Hey, Ron. <laughs> you can tease Cody now. You know what he's getting for Christmas. I bought it at your last auction. <laughs> okay. Oh, now he says if they didn't like me, they wouldn't mess with me. Yeah. That's exactly right. I see how it is. Mark J's on. Oh, Mark J. Bogley. If I missed anybody saying hello, I'm sorry. I apologize. Now we're going to go to Sepia. Be pretty cool, Ron. Probably He'll forget than... between now and then. <laughs> Who, me? No, Co Cody. I doubt it. I'll probably be the one to forget. Okay, so let's just start laying this on here. Yeah, Ron, he spoils everything. He can't keep a secret. He doesn't like to surprise people. Who? No, I don't. Jason. I just want to thank everybody that's coming in and spending some time with us tonight.
Anti-HF? Who? Never seen it. Hello, Anti. Uh -huh. Entertainment matches there, Melissa. Did you just leave me alone? <gasps> that was so cute. David, Tony, Cody, our goose. Uh -huh. Hey, David, how David. are you? Hi, David. Hey, Tony, Cody, our goose. Hey, and that red and then you're going to get a bronze color out of it. It's very pretty. Hi, Monica. Hi, Mom. How are you? Shake it be nice. Who told me to be nice? Monica. Monica. I left that part out. I'm always nice. I love everybody. This ain't gonna be wicked. I've ever painted. Yeah. Monica says she has an airbrush somewhere in her staff. She wants to find it. Maybe you'll find it when you move, can okay? Cool. They're fun. I hope you do. I love the airbrush. They're so much fun. Yeah, he was just in here commenting. Who's that? She said, anyone see my honey Mark J anywhere? He's around. Yeah, he was just on here a few minutes ago. He's getting ready to go on an elk hunt, and I'm jealous. Well, good night, crank on. Bye, Amy. Oh, it looks terrible. I'm going to have to start again. I'll just put Ooh. it in my tackle box in. That is pretty. Yeah, it's my rendition of it red-breasted birch. You can see the blues, you can see the reds, you can see the oranges. Very, very pretty. 
I don't know if she can get y'all a picture of it. It's dry. It is? Yeah. I dried it with an airbrush, air dryer, whatever that thing's called. It. <laughs> don't know that it'll get a good picture. Well, even the picture, I don't think it's going to do it justice. Yeah, you can see part of it. Yeah, a little bit. Oh my God, from Ron. We're nice. It's better than cable TV anyway. Hey, YouTube, none of that lovey dovey in here. Smoochy, smoochy. <laughs> Ron says, thanks, absolutely gorgeous. That's pretty damn nice. Monica says it needs eyes. Getting them right now. Oh, it was fun, and it was something that I wanted to do for my <laughs> friend, so I did it. I really hope that Elvis isn't flirting with you, Backwoods. That is, yeah, okay. There's your eyes on the ground. said, great job. Ooh, that's pretty. That dude's going to be wicked. Okay. Ron's bait. Ron makes the call. To glitter or not to glitter, that is the question, Mr. Ron. So, Brandon Weatherford joined us. Terry Wade joined us. Hi, Terry. How you feeling, buddy? You doing good now? We're good. Awesome. <laughs> Mark J says, sorry, Melissa. LOL. We can't help ourselves. About picking on you earlier. No, it was because I told him and Monica not to do all that lovey-dovey stuff. Y'all can do it on my channel. I don't mind at all. I do. She's just jealous because she don't get that no more. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Oh, it's glitter. He says, how's glitter. the weather? Terry says, how's the weather down he at the glitter. bottom? Okay. He'll get glitter if that's what he wants. It's his bait. Did you hear me? No. Terry Wade, he said, how's the weather down at the bottom? Well, yesterday morning it was 42 at 430 when we got up. And today, when we got up, it was 70. So, it's that time of year. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. So, it won't be long. We'll be getting our first freeze probably within 30 days. <laughs> okay. Carla Carter says, another awesome lure. It's going to look pretty when it's finished. Ask your friend Ron, what color glitter he wants in there? I'm a friend. I don't think that's what I can call him friend. Yeah, you can call him friend. <laughs> Terry says his bone is healed and he should be back to work for the Christmas rush. Awesome. Awesome. Very happy to hear that. Crankin said it was 50 there this morning. It's been crazy here because it's super cold in the early morning. It's super hot in the middle of the day, and then it goes back to being cold in the afternoon. Yeah, it's that time of year. People be getting sick. So did he answer what color of glitter? Jason's choice. Jason Copper. Jason's choice. Copper. Since it's bronze. No. <laughs> what? It's Jason's choice. I'll put a stock on it. Copper. Or gunmetal gray. Terry said they had about 100 millimeters of rain in the last two days. Almost washed Ontario away. Oh my god! It was windy. Thousands of green leaves down. Cold and crazy for sure. Okay. It's 86 in California. Girl, you need to get out of California and be down here with normal people. <laughs> the 
clean these too, Jason. Okay. This ain't gonna be wicked. Brandon says he's hoping the walleye start biting now that it's cooling down. They will too. They was catching them up at you last Ron, weekend. Ron said they got three and a half inches there today. I wish they would rain here. John says it's 78 and raining there in Florida. Monica, you're so cute. She says, I am normal in a non-normal way. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm old in a non-old way. No, you're just old. Yeah. Okay, Ron, as you know, this is going to be a two-part epoxy on this bait. You already knew that, though, didn't you, buddy? Be one part today and one part tomorrow, early Saturday morning. Here we're finally getting rain. Who? Oh, Brandon says it's supposed to rain in Amarillo next week. I said, yay, we're finally getting rain. One of these days, I'm going to come to Amarillo, and I'm going to contact Brandon, and we're going to go to lunch. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah, it's only a short drive for us. Two and a half hours. To Amarillo? Uh -huh. Monica asked if you use acrylic paint. Uh, I have some acrylics, yes. Most of it is craft paint, and then there's some... Createx paints in there. There's some acrylic paints in there. I'll use all kinds of different things. Whenever you get settled good, Monica, and you want me to come on live with you on Sunday, we can sit in here and we can do some paints. You just let me know when you want to do that. I'm showing something they probably haven't seen a lot of them. This is any time. John says they're going to headwaters in the morning. Oh, fun. I'm going to love it. To get new tires for my pickup. I'm going to work. Yay. That'll be an expensive trip. I must have missed something. I don't know why he said thanks back. I was waiting for somebody to chime in. Who? Cranking. He said thanks back. I was waiting for somebody to chime in. Oh, he's just messing with Bob. Talking about oh. going up to San Antonio to fish. Oh, I think he's quoting the song. Emerald by morning. Oh, from Emerald San Antonio. Morning. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. That was one of those over my head things for a minute. Monica, Monica says, oh, great. Yes, I've always wanted to share the screen with other artists on Sundays for sure, Charlie. Yep. Um, I have to have Melissa out here to do it. Because I'll share it about two seconds and something will happen and I'll hit it with a hammer. I think I'm worse at it than you are. I keep breaking everything. <laughs> Backwood says, now that song stuck in his head. <laughs> It's better than when somebody comes in singing that shark song at work. Oh, goodness. Who does that? That baby shark saying. Oh, my gosh. I just cringe. She and I would have a problem. It's a good thing that I'm deaf. Well, she has little kids. I'm sure it's stuck yeah, in her head. I'm sure. It would be awesome, Charlie and Mike. Y'all slap feet when you do it? Yeah. We need to start having some other people on our lives, too. I've been thinking about that. I know. I sing I sing that song. I love it, too. I sing it every time I go to Amarillo. I just get it in my head. <laughs> oh, backwards. You and I are going to have a problem. To talk this Mac to you. No, he's singing the shark song. God, I can stand that song. <laughs> I know the kids he's love going, it. Do, 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 do. 
Baby's not. <laughs> oh, that's looking gorgeous, Moose. There's the first half. Ron says, I greatly appreciate this, bud. Yeah. You decide you don't want it, Ron, I'll take it. Just picking on Ron since he's not here. Taking on Ron since he's not here to defend himself. Yep. Boy, you're a good friend. Yes, I am. That dude looks wicked. Every time he's on, matter of fact, I watched one of his old videos last night. I tell you what, Ron, it was Mortal Kombat. That you were asking everybody if they know the game. He says of... no, mine. I don't think that that camera would focus in on this very much, but that dude is some kind of wicked. You know what? Hold it. Right in the middle. Jason. No, turn the light off. You're killing me, son. I did. Don't. Yeah, don't. I did. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to zoom in. Well, we'll take pictures and. He says you're going to need some big hooks for that, Crankin' Dude. Oh, I got some big hooks for that. <laughs> Believe me. <clears throat> Monica says, I love those shiny, shiny. When I varnish my paintings, it brings out the colors so wonderfully. Yeah, that epoxy just brings that bait out like you wouldn't believe. Take my dog lures, I'll eat it. <laughs> huh? Auntie Ad Jack. He said, I believe dog lures, I eat it. Yeah, me too, buddy. So one thing that I discovered doing these baits is to hang them. Leave enough tape on the end of that tail. If you do, you'll get your separation in between or to run down like it's supposed to. Just a little little FYI tip for you. Keep the separation on this side and this side. Now when it won't be stuck together. They can't see that. I know it. Your big head's in the way. My big head's always in the way. Yeah. Well, that's that. New Hope says amazing. John says, fins to left, fins to the right, and you are the only bait in town. Yep. <laughs> Jail bait. Here, bud. Okay, well, that took care of Ron's little project there. I hope he enjoys it, and I hope he catches a lot of fish with it. I hope he gets it. <clears throat> It may, it may disappear in the mail. A Jimmy Buffett shark song. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett rules. Oh, you missed that one. Let's see. Don't need no shark song, please. Nope. I'll put on the Viking helmet. If I have to have a shark song, that way I can defend myself. Well, that's it. That's... The red breasted perch, my uh, version of it. Ron sure says the must be better not lay a scratch on it. Well, don't put it in the water, ding dong. Put it in the case where it belongs. You know. The who better not what in the wind? Ron says the muskie better not lay a scratch on it. Oh, I said would. then don't put it in the water, ding dong. Put it in the case. Uh, all right. Let's look at some of this week's paints. There's one right there. No, Brandon, we are not going to create that monster. Which monster? Do, do a, a baby, baby shark. shark lure. Oh, I'll <laughs> order one next time I order, and then we'll do one. No, we will not. Why not? I've already done a shark. <laughs> Thank you, small water. That's what I was thinking when he was doing it. A lot of red breasts at the noon speech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they got a cell phone right in the middle right here from looking at it. <laughs> oh, some of this week's paints. There you go. I agree with that. Jaws is the only shark song. No other. There's I agree just with no that. other. I forgot the sunblock, John. 
Yeah. Well, these are this week's paints that we've been messing with right here on the table. And I'm painting multiple of them because we're going to a show in October. And this little weight bait. You're going to have to show them up a little higher. I can't see them from here anyway. That little weight bait right there, that's one of my favorite baits. And this one is a new blue that Createx come out with called Laguna. Pretty cool. And then a round back popper, black and silver. Swirl on him and a red mouth. And then that one y'all seen earlier. And a little bluegill type popper. <laughs> Sorry, I cut it. John said he had a, a little drink while ago. And then he told Zach that Lindy wrote a word on his chest and said, Look. <laughs> Wrote what? A word, and not a nice word. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, that's a true story that happened to me. She'll never, ever take me to another real estate bank when as long as we're married. Never. I'm going to have to be married to you. I'm not letting you in the door. Got me free drinks all night long. Yeah, but you got the girl's phone number on your chest and Sharpie marker. Yeah, so. A little rubbing alcohol will take it off as long as you cut yourself before you put it on there. A you little know. smack in the head got it off real quick. Eight dollars for a beer? I thought that was kind of ridiculous. Best way to do it is to just do it. So what's everybody got planned for the weekend? Finishing Cody's challenge. Yeah, Ron says he should just make another shark for. We're going to paint a baby shark. So everybody be sure to tune in for our Halloween deal this year. We're going to have a husband and wife challenge. And all y'all need to paint a Halloween lure, too. It's behind you up there. Black and orange. That's Halloween colors. She already knows what she's going to paint. I don't have a clue <laughs> at this point. Oh, John. Oh, my goodness. He learned real quick the other day to let the hand sanitizer dry completely before lighting a smoke. It makes a pretty blue flame. <laughs> I bet it does, all that alcohol in it. Brendan said I'd be dead if I came home with another woman's number. I was sitting with my friend at the other table watching him. It was hilarious. Got free drinks all night long. All night long. And I drank a lot. And my friend was sitting in my lap because she thought I was going to go across the room at him. And I was laughing so hard as I could fall the chair. I was glad she was there. I wasn't the only one involved in that. Daryl was helping me. Yes, he was. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, James. Did I hurt your feelings? He says he's kicking butts, but, <laughs> Buck's butt despite Mel's choice of winners. I, I stood behind you, Elvis. Remember that. Let's see what's in your box, Ron, and get it done. If you show it to everybody, it's starting a holiday box. Oh, that's awesome. Probably doing another Northern Lights. That's pretty, wasn't it? That's a gorgeous lure he done. Oh, my goodness. Nope. <laughs> that dude's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> Do some Christmas decorations every year. Lures to hang on the tree. Then we got one of 
got many of them left. You know? No, we've got sold them all. Yeah. Pretty I'll cool. Send Ron, he'll hook them. No, he won't. <laughs> Jen's not gonna let him do that. Offers. It's something fun to do. We sell quite a few of those around the Christmas shows. So. I bet we'll sell some of them in October. Sorry, Team Elvis. Somebody, small water is saying Team Buck. Because Elvis is a king. Yep, Elvis is the king. Yeah, right. I bet you. Best singer that ever lived. Elvis said that he doesn't have any of these feelings I speak of. He says, I have none of these feelings you speak of, woman. He called me woman. Because you call me woman all the time, baby. Cool. He's brave. I call her Bob most of the time because I can't remember her name. Yeah. True story. <laughs> He's rewriting Delilah, but using Buck's name. <laughs> we have a very good relationship. Very unique. Every Preach time she brother, turns Preach around, I nick out of the yeah. house. Yeah. So, yeah, tomorrow we're off to Lubbock. About 9 o'clock in the morning, I got meetings and from 8 to 9, and then we're out of here. No, it's not for the week, Brandon. Yes, it was for the week. What? This live. This live for the week. I missed the last couple. Yeah, we live on nearly every Thursday, and we're thinking about go ahead and doing a Tuesday live instead of having to edit anything. And doing a paint on Tuesday night at six. I think Tuesday is just gonna be random. So we have very busy lives and we try, try, try to get in here. It's very hard now. Hey, wait a minute. How come that gets a surprise and I don't? If you could see how far my lip is hanging down right now, howdy. That's because it's full of cornbread. Mm, probably. She went off to town today and went to cracker barrel without me. Got her some cornbread. Mm -hmm. I'm good. No, I shot him in the back. Oh, okay. See how mean she is? I had a knife. I could have opened it for you if you wanted some juice. Right. I don't want none. I'm oh. set. I'm set. I'm set. I'm set. I'm set. Oh, this guy. Buck, woman. Elvis? <laughs> yeah. Is he getting on you? Yeah, he's being Team Buck. Um, because you are Team Buck woman. <laughs> oh, I'm going to string him up and play Happy Pinata. birthday, Buck. Yeah, that's messed up. Hmm. It's Buck's birthday. Charlie just had a birthday Saturday. That's why I ain't cranking, probably picking on Buck. Nope, I guess it is. 200 years old. John, John, John. That's just messed up, ain't it? He said, you said out when you want to hurt us. Raven just got on Cecilia. Hi, Cecilia. It's it, when you talk too loud, it's when it's like, Yesterday was his birthday. Well, happy birthday, buddy. Even though I am on Team Elvis, I'll still wish you a happy birthday. Me too. You're on his team, ain't you going to wish him happy birthday? Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, I'll see how that works. Do you want, do you want me to sing to you? Because you probably don't want me to sing to you. I really can't sing. I can't even talk, so. Yeah, please, no singing. They kicked me out of the restaurant for singing happy birthday one day. Oh, it's okay, Cecilia. We're just glad you're here. Absolutely. 
So if y'all hadn't had a chance to go check out uh, Charlie Carter Zuer channel, go check him out. Great channel. He does some nice baits. Brown at New Hope. Wendy says happy birthday, Charlie. Thank you, Lindia. Go check out New Hope Fishing Lures and Small Water Charters and Mark J. Larson Outdoors. I'll be sure to watch that. Douglas. Monica Tia Arts. I was just said you could hear him sing to Buck in his next video. Cranking and Yanking, Backwoods, Hillbillies. Check them all out. They're all great channel. Wonderful people. John says all Buck needs is to pack a fried PB and J with pickles and Elvis's to it. When Elvis is done fishing, and this is happy birthday to Buck. Yeah. Uh, happy belated backwoods. Yeah, all of us September people are the better end of it. I don't know why Ron said I would have kicked you out too, Ella. Well. So For happy, singing. Oh, gotcha. Happy birthday to you, man. Birthday to you. She's singing to you. Cecilia is. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Backwards is bringing out that and some Tom Jones. Jones. Nothing wrong with Tom Jones. He's going to do the Carlton dance. Uncle Buck. Ooh, Charlie is going to have worms soon. Awesome. You're going to uh, film it, Charlie? I hope so. I want to do that, but I just don't have big enough enough room in here to do that. Well, I got you the stuff, and it didn't work right. So, yeah. and all of a sudden, he's been thinking about getting him stuff to make him mold for worms. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll probably get there one of these days. <laughs> Charlie says that he will try. Awesome. I want to see how he does it. Yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, Charlie Carter's Lure Channel is a new channel. He's been a part of our group for a while now, and we really appreciate everything he does. And he's doing some great work with his lures. So if you haven't subscribed yet, get over there and subscribe to Charlie Carter's Lure Channel. It's awesome. Better than cable TV, folks. Way better. Chair is screaming for help. What chair? The one I'm sitting in. Oh. Well. Yep. Crane said he's going to make one at the meal at work. Oh, that's good. We're only about 30 days away from tamales. <laughs> I didn't realize I did that. What? That chair? Then every time you moved, it made that noise. Yeah, I don't like this chair that much. It just I don't know. WD forty. So yeah, it's it's been a decent week. Mm -hmm. it's like Jason's collecting lots of paint up there. Oh yeah, I painted quite a few of them today. Hey, McCody, I guess been Hobby Lobby and Tractor Supply. I've been love it. I went to work. Ebo's for my belt for the weddings. That's all I have is ugly brown work belts. Yeah, it's been a wonderful week. Looking forward to the weekend, though. Okay, so I bought fabric. We're going to put that up on the website. Yeah, that website's first going to be up. I don't know what kind of store it's going to be right now. It's going to be pretty sparing right now. Yeah. It's sparse. But I am going to put up the fabric. I am going to put up the caps and the t shirts for sure. To start. To start. Yeah. I sell a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of baits going to these weekend shows. And there's a lot of guys that'll come over and just open the door and come in and get what they want. Not me. It's your brother you're talking about, your other brother. No, there are several others that do that too. Like I said, as we started out rough, but it got better. That's good. That's good. 
I think everybody is having some trying times right now. Brandon said he subscribed to Charlie's channel. Thank you, Brandon. Awesome. You'll love Charlie. He's awesome, dude. Oh my goodness, they're painting a rainbow on Beck's house. Emma says, did they finish painting that rainbow on your house? <laughs> That's just wrong. If y'all not subscribed to Monica Tia, y'all need to go check her out. She does some beautiful, beautiful artwork. I love her squirrels. Yeah, I love I, 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 If I'm maple, I get in here on Sunday and paint, listen to her while I'm painting in. He we went to Lubbock that day, listen to her. He yeah. was watching your channel, Monica, whenever we were on our way to Lubbock. And I said, what's she painting now? And he says, squirrels. And so I started screaming squirrels every five seconds. And he was like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. I want to do some painting too. Add you riding a backwards. He says, not yet, Elvis. I added to it, and they're drawing up the idea on the top of the rainbow. They're going to add you riding a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> on the back, on the oh, head, Lord. what Elvis said. Uh -uh. Yeah. Y'all leave the ugly dogs out of the unicorn painting. As long as I'm sitting on the back and not the head. Oh, I see. That's what Elvis said. Mm -hmm. Charlie said, I saw her work, mini Monica, and it was great. Yeah, well, I love to watch her thank create. You. Cecilia put her link in the chat. Thank you, Cecilia. Yeah, thank you so very much. She's a very, very artistic person. Ron says we need a squirrel flip-flop. Hmm. Monica says, oh, very sweet of you to say, Charlie. Glad you like the squirrel, Melissa. I came out, it came out better than I expected. I really enjoy my Sundays and everyone who comes to be there with me. Yeah, I enjoy it. I look forward to it. Yeah, we were driving and he says, do you mind if I watch Monica? I was like, no, I don't mind. If you can get service, I'll power to you. So this is going to be Tuesday's paint right here. It's a hand-carved mouse from New Hope Fishing Lures. Bye, John. And this is what we're going to be painting on Tuesday. It's a topwater bait. It's been over there in that drawer waiting for me to paint it for a while. So, mm -hmm. so you told Buck to leave you out of it. So he said, uh, I could get them to paint Ugly Dog Lure uh, as Elvis earrings while he's riding the uniform. Yeah, no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. So this will be our paint for next for Tuesday, what we're going to do. I'm going to do my mouse a little bit different than other people. So, so, so you put a link in the chat for Mark. Go over and check him out. He needs some love. Needs Mark J? Yeah. yeah, he's awesome. He is just an awesome person, you know. And he's going elk hunting without me, and I'm still a little bit are you, are you still sad? Yeah, I'm sad. Do you need a... Uh, do I need to go drink some beer? Yes, I do. No, All I right. was going to say a pacifier. Stick yeah. your thumb in your mouth. Yeah. I wouldn't stick my thumb in my mouth. <laughs> mouse turned into Pikachu. Uh -huh. That's what Ron just said. His mouse turned into Pikachu. Mine's not going to turn into Pikachu. Pikachu! I'm going to get me a little trailer to put on it. That's Cecilia dropped <laughs> New Hope Fishing Lures in the chat. You guys check him out as well. Yeah, check them all out. They're all good, good channels, good wholesome channels. Well, not well, wholesome. Most of them are. Them backwoods guys crack me up. So, and you, I got a dark and twisted sense of humor. You can so. tell that they're good people, but you know, I just I have a bar of soap. When I meet them, I'm gonna split it in half and just have at it. Right now. now, don't ever let her tell you she don't say bad words because she stumped. Good night, Lydia. She stumped her toe here a while back, and I thought the sailors was all going <laughs> to leave the damn base. You're telling me. Huh. Can't be 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's getting into that time of year where everything is going to slow down for a little bit, and then it'll speed up about December, and then it'll die out again in my world. Ron says, I'm as wholesome as they can. So the kids come in. Did, did you get struck by lightning just now? Because I'm kind of, you know, thinking about thinking it. Hi, Lindia. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow night on the chat board. Yeah, I might have been there last Friday, but I was at the lake and didn't have no service. Yeah, service. So, tell them about our new tent. You tell them about our new tent. No, I want to hear Charlie's version of our new tent story. The doors ain't big enough. So the door's not big enough. Okay. It Anything works else? good. It's a blackout tent. So it's a dark room tent. So whenever you you go inside and you zip everything up, not only does it stay warm, but it is dark. It's I'm gonna say about seventy percent dark. He got up Sunday morning and he unzipped one of those panels and we both started screaming, Oh, zip it up, zip it up, because it was too bright. Thank you, Ron. I always try to be right. My remarks about when his kids come in mm -hmm. interrupt him during one. That just cracks me up because kids are kids. Yeah, I know. I pray that your package gets there tomorrow. I'm going to go here when we get off of here and I'm going to go see where it's at. I'm going to go finish Cody's challenge when we get off. Got to find out where it so I went to. That's got a lot of very nice merchandise in it. There Mark goes again. Okay. Honey to Monica. Good. Thank you so much, honey. Yeah. All that sweet sappy crap. Mm -hmm. I seen that. I see that, Ron. Nope. You're just wrong, Melissa. I know. Why is that? Why, why is that wrong? Sweet and sappy, just fine. It's sweet and sappy. Well, you're old and cranky. I'd rather be old and cranky than sweet and sappy. No, you wouldn't. What is it, Ron? Show me what I did for Cody. He ain't Ron's going to give me a challenge. Huh? Yes. Show him, show him what I did for Cody. I hadn't finished it yet. Over there. Monica well, I don't want to trip over the cord here. Monica says, that you bet you, babes. He's so they're just there you go. crazy, crazy. Cody challenged me to do that. In a popper for him or frog frog. This is one that Jay painted. I know it's black and orange. Jay's obsessed with painting now. Don't lie and say you ain't. Like yeah. okay. Lightning on what color, Ron? Black or? <laughs> Blue. Max says that's Elvis's new channel name, Old and Cranky. He can't have that because that's my name. <laughs> we could get him old and Yankee. Charles Ray. I'm just trying to help Uncle Buck out since I didn't get on the team. Backwoods. Mm -hmm. Are y'all fishing in the morning? Blonde, black and blue. Lightning, okay. I gotta keep thinking tomorrow Saturday. Remember, them colors. remember black and blue with yeah. lightning. How you gonna do lightning, Jay? I'll take let's plug it into a stitching cord. Yeah, <laughs> charge melt. it up. Figure that out. It hard. Do it. David says that I need a truckload of, a truckload of soap in my mouth. Yeah, a lot of us do. Good night, Brandon. Bye, Brandon. What's Saturday? Elvis said Saturday. They're fishing they're Saturday. Saturday. They're fishing. Yeah. Go team Elvis. Y'all going to try to do it live or y'all going to film it? Yes, it is a very bad addiction.
<laughs> I hope they go live. If they can, I don't know if they'll be able to get signal out there. If not, I'm sure they'll have a few cameras running and they'll have their cell phones running. Nobody falls in the water. Bike says it'll be found. We haven't figured out the live thing just yet. Okay. I'll be looking forward to seeing it. The live thing is called StreamYard, but (laughs) Elvis says Bike has one more day to sweat it out and talk trash, and it will all come to an abrupt halt. I need to send books and lures, too. At some point. You're going to let the hillbillies do a review for you? That's a scary yep. concept. Let yeah, them send me an address. All right, Buck, send him an address. He's going to send you some lures so you can do a review for us. You can even share them with Bubba. Thank you. I'm sending Dog Lures at Gmail. He would not know how to use them, Charlie. Elvis. What did he say? He would not know how to use them. I'm going to send him one of the pink unicorn. <laughs> Don't send him my cotton candy one, I guess. He might try to eat it. Yeah, I'll send him some too. I just enjoy getting out here and painting and creating stuff. He said spins. Huh? Elvis said he would not know how to use them, Charlie, and then Buck said spins. I don't know what spins means. Beetle spins. Beetle spins. Beetle spins. He's going to send it. I'll send you the email now. Okay. He says, I'll throw it. LOL. Yep, I threw them too. <laughs> Absolutely. I have WD forty, Cecilia. Oh, that chair. Yeah. I'm gonna get my wood chair back in here. Yeah. Elvis said you do good work. All of them do good work. I never put anybody's work down. Anti at Jack says, Do you have a pink unicorn lure? Question, question, question. No, but Uncle Buck will the time I get done. <laughs> he says he's, he's laughing as, you know, L- LMAO. Um, he yeah. says, I will order multiple for gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Buck will have one. I'm even going to build a horn and put on it. Oh, my goodness. Mark get him a little tail. Oh, I've already got this figured out. Y'all created a monster. Oh my goodness. Mark J says, I really enjoy watching you, Charlie. Mark, I got yours over there. I got to do as soon as I get packaging in, I'll get them in the mail to you. Crankin says, Don't say beetle spin three times. You'll lose about 50% of your fishing skills. I'm also going to paint a lure for Monica and send to your house, Mark. Hey. Yeah, looky here. We can give that unicorn a white tail. We can give that dude a red and white tail. What's oh, a pink no. tail on it? Since it'd be Those pink. pink ones that I saw yesterday. Or we can give that unicorn a green tail. We can give him all kinds of colors. He says, will you put Uncle, Uncle Duck on one for me? Yep. You're going to put Uncle Buck. You're going to paint Uncle Buck on the Lord. No, you're going to make the water slide, and I'm going to put that on it. No. Uncle Uh, Buck. Ron says, you best use the lures hanging behind you, LOL. My little pony unicorn. Oh, you talking about these? Jay was painting those today. That one's called Cotton Candy. Yeah, that one is. Kind of looks like cotton candy. No, Ron, I did not taste it like you did your chili pepper. 
see if it was tastes like cotton candy. Who told Ron to taste taste his chili pepper? I did. Yep, yeah, she did. I heard it. That's why I repeated it. So we're almost at 750 subs now. 749. That's a nice thing. I'm going to start trying to push some of these other channels pretty hard. So try to get Charlie up there and Ron up there and Amy up there. And Monica says, really, Charlie, make sure it has green in it for mine. That would be so cool. I will. I'll do lime green and a dark green or a pathalo green. Or... Elvis says it needs a rainbow tail back. I'm going to find some of those rainbow tails. I'm going to go look in tomorrow and love it. <laughs> Mark J says you should be getting your winnings any day. So for you guys that didn't see last week's, or sorry, Tuesday's, um, Charlie won Mark J's giveaway. That's awesome. On his birthday. Yep, and it was awesome. I was very happy. The multicolor tail options, too. <laughs> Ron says he goes for the rainbow tail. So we're going to have to do that on a topwater bait. Hey, well, Monica, I'm going to get with you about that because I have had another person tell me about that. What's that, babe? It's um, like a support you know, like the uh, buy me a coffee thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to do none of that. I don't drink coffee anyway. Let's see here. Now I want to start painting for Uncle Book. Well, we are an hour and 12 minutes. We're an hour and 12 minutes. Well, I think that means it's about time for dinner, don't it? She's been eating cornbread. I'm out of cornbread. She ate all her cornbread. So I just want to thank everybody for coming in and being with us tonight. It's been real fun. Yeah. It always is fun. And uh, Uncle Buck, get that address sent to me, yeah. and I'll get some painted up to you and get out. I'll send you a decal. I can't wait for that review. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait either. He says he looks forward to it. So, take care of my Louisiana boys. I might have to come down there and hide from the law in the swamp one of these days. The you throw him yard gator while you're down there then. No, because he wants to use Herbie as gator bait. Oh, it's better than the chihuahuas across the street. I got Herbie a life jacket. So he can go swimming with me. I'm a, yeah. How many thousands of dollars have you spent on clothes for that dang dog and I got one pair of pants? Oh, four or five thousand. Yeah, exactly. He has Halloween costumes. Christmas costumes, St. Patrick's Day costumes. Well, he goes to work with me. He has to look the part, you know. He I got St. Houses. Patrick's Day costume. His cute little face sells houses. Okay. So when I was out on that um, pontoon thing, he would, kept trying to come out in the water with me. And I didn't even film it. Cody tried to, but I was laughing too hard. I did not sink. Y'all leave me alone. I kept screaming jaws and she jumped around. You're such a fabricator. Don't, 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 don't. He was singing that song to me. It was great. Good night, Monica. So I think we're going to get off of here now. So I hope everybody has a great weekend and good luck, Uncle Buck, and good luck, Elvis. So we're going to get off of here and we're going to go find some dinner and do what we do. What? Okay, wait. Before we get off. Okay. Elvis says, is that the one of them dogs that looks like it had a head on with the wall? Yes. He's, a he's ugly. He's a Pekingese, and his little feet, his little feet are like this. His eyes go out one that way and one that yeah. way, and his teeth hang out in the front. i tell you what he looks like, but I can't say stuff like that on YouTube. Okay, you can end it now.
So I think we're going to end this right here. I hope everybody has a blessed weekend, and we'll see you Tuesday. All right. Bye, guys. Good night, everybody.